Are we there yet? We're not there yet. <sighs> Been there all day, day, isn't it? We're not stopping at the Happy Eater. <laughs> oh, well, we can order it now and get it on the way back, can't we? If you don't stop complaining, we'll turn around and there'll be no Bartians for anyone! <laughs> Welcome to Larshans? Lashans. Lashans. Not including that. Yeah. <laughs> Fan fiction. Yeah, let's let it be. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh, yeah, so uh, Mr. Barry is not here, so we. No, I killed him. Yes. <laughs> it's my show now. So we're going to have Are some we? bloody sharticles. Oh, lovely. And the first will be with Mr. Larry Bundy, if you haven't met him before. Hello. He is a man I'm with that, a man's courage. I'm that bloke who's been on your videos all those years before you abandoned me from Barry. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Which is why you had him killed. Yes, I had him killed. Drunk man pulls trousers down, jumps on McDonald's counter and helicopters penis. Any thoughts on this... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> astonishing... <laughs> as reported on by poor old Claire Reed. Oh. <laughs> Bad news day for her. <laughs> Quiet news day. For her. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it depends how fast he swung it round, really. I suppose really. that's yes. why they call it a chopper. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A man has appeared in court. Oh God! It went all the way to court after he whipped down his trousers, jumped into McDonald's, jumped to McDonald's. Uh, you have to say counter there, really, but they've left that word out, and started to helicopter. Well, that's his how he got on top, didn't he? He flew up. Ah, uh, uh, that's yeah. Twenty-nine-year-old Ryan Dolan from Musselburgh popped into the South St Andrew Street branch of the fast food chain, where he started by pretending to serve customers. <laughs> Have a pretend Big Mac. <laughs> yeah. Do you want any secret sauce on it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, you're not that far off. Um, before pulling his trousers down and doing the weird dance while shocked customers and staff looked on. Understandably, Dolan was asked by staff to leave. <laughs> I think that's kind of the, the minimum you could yeah. expect in that sort of thing, really. But he didn't pay attention to their request and instead got his genitals out again. Bloody hell. <laughs> I had a picture of a Big McTasty. <laughs> <laughs> it just says Big Tasty. <laughs> well, it'd be a breakfast meal without a sausage, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> but it's a flat sausage. <laughs> that's no good to anybody. He grabbed his penis and started to play with it, pretending to serve customers and started... <laughs> Oh, she's getting a bit dark, this one, isn't it? Salty McFlurries. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and started dancing again, carrying out helicopter-like movements with his penis. After a few minutes... After thought, a few minutes! A bit, oh just my leave, God. He's going to tire himself out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give him attention, it'll just make him worse. <laughs> oh. After a few minutes, he pulled his trousers back up and left. <laughs> They would have fired Dolan £750, but took into account his guilty plea and reduced the amount to £500 that he will pay back at the rate of £100 a month. Well, that, that's a little um, little cautionary tale for you at home. Yes. Yeah, remember, yeah, people you... at home, don't <laughs> pretend you work in a McDonald's and get your cock out. Or if you do, say, make sure you say you're guilty. You get £250 for good off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the real moral of this story. <laughs> Say sorry, get a discount. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Matthew. Hi, hi, hi. It's time for a bloody shartacle. I'm ready. And this one involves weird naked people. That makes a change. Mm. Florida man breaks mm. into restaurant. Okay, good. Strips naked. As one does. Eats noodles, plays bongos. The first question is, is this Eli? <laughs> The first answer is yes. The second answer is irrelevant because it's Eli. <laughs> According to the Tampa Bay Times, yeah. a St. Petersburg police officer was investigating a break in at the Chataway restaurant, reviewing surveillance video that shows a burglar eating a plate of chicken wings, that's not noodles, mm. and drinking a beer inside the kitchen on November the 6th. The officer then stumbled across another incident from the night before. Oh. That's, that was a deflection. Yeah, it that threw was, us off. Yeah. Video shows a different man riding his bike up to the restaurant, pedalling around the parking lot for 10 minutes. I am fit now. His Fitbit finally goes. <laughs> he's finished. I'm now fit enough to be hench enough to strip <laughs> off and show off my amazing. Pedalled around the parking lot for 10 minutes, then slipped in through the back gate. 
He opens the door to a shed after wandering around for a bit and removes a set of bongos. Wait, where the fuck is this? I know it says Florida. I know Florida is Florida. But also, this is ridiculous. So it's a, it's a restaurant that also has a big car park that you can ride a bicycle around. But and maybe a have a drive shed that he and has a shed access to? With bongos in. The bong How does he have access to the bongo shed? Why is there a bongo shed? <laughs> I believe what? it calls bongo. Yeah, in times of need, it appears. Pretty, pretty standard in Florida, yeah. <laughs> Then the man gains access to a restaurant bathroom and exits naked. He sits at one of the restaurant's picnic tables and digs into a bowl of instant ramen noodles, it is Eli, which he brought with him. There it is, there's the answer. The video also shows him playing the bongos, still naked. Oh, the fact he's going to the bathroom to take his clothes off. <laughs> yeah, well, he wouldn't want people to see him yeah. stripping. <laughs> to be fair, it's all about the big reveal, isn't it? Bumph. <laughs> The burglar from the first video, who ate chicken wings and had a beer at the restaurant, Stop. this is a very oddly written thing, because it keeps jumping from one to the other. Yeah. Like a sort of confusing a, narrative. The narrative is it, it, yeah. it's kind of broken. It could be possibly Memento. I think it's written by Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tarantino or Jonathan Nolan, and uh, they've come together finally and created We Are TV. Ah, it's all a code. If you rearrange it backwards, look, We Are TV, W-E-A-R-T-V, backwards, Nolan. Oh my god, yeah. I didn't notice that because it's not wow. true. And there's a little tweet here from yeah. Florida Man. But not that Florida Man. No, no, but from a, a Twitter account called Florida Man, which I presume is an aggregator. He came in with pants on, but he rode off on his bike without pants. I'm not sure if he took his pants with him, but we still don't know where his pants are. Hello, Ryan. What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Local news. Guess what's happening in Norwich? Les Dennis denies graffitiing Les Dennis in huge letters all around Norwich. <laughs> Who else would? As the former face of family fortunes, ooh, alliteration, mm. there is no denying that Les Dennis's fame transcends every nook and cranny of society. Fuck hell. That's, that's a very highfalutin oh, sentence for the yeah. mirror. Blimey. But when spray-painted graffiti of his name began cropping up in Norwich, nobody could quite understand why. They say that as if we've solved it. I don't think we have, have we? The 65-year-old funny man. Man. 65-year-old <laughs> man. <laughs> the 65-year-old. Who has also appeared in Coronation Street. Oh, my oh, he God! Has, isn't he? Took to Twitter to deny any involvement yeah. in the tagging. Journalist Rob Setchell raised the alarm about the bizarre series of spray hmm. paintings. Revealed. Hashtag Norwich appears to be the canvas for bizarre graffiti tributes to at Les Dennis. Several locations given the Les Dennis treatment. Has anyone else spotted one? Does anyone know who is behind the surrealism movement? Fuck you, Rob. <laughs> That's right, I know him, it's fine. I do know Rob. Rob's uh, a lovely man. But he wasn't allowed to talk to us. No, he wasn't. We tried to get him on the show, or at least a video chat, but no ITV won't have it, because he's talked about it too much, apparently, over the past four days. <laughs> enough! Yeah. 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 Enough! <laughs> enough enough of the Dennis! Dennis. <laughs> Jesus! God! God, Rob! God! It's just no more! <laughs> yeah. Les Dennis saw the tweet and quickly tweeted, It wasn't me! He talks like that, though. Yeah. I know the song by Shaggy called It Wasn't Me When It Was Him. I'm not being cryptic here. It really wasn't me. What? I'm going to use a 25-year-old song as a reference it's point. Such... <laughs> this is why 65-year-old man. <laughs> Not funny, like man. 65-year-old confusing man. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, poet Rachel Doyle even penned a tribute to the unusual artwork. Well, of course she did. She tweeted, <clears throat> Art, it comes in many forms. Paintings, photos, dance. We realise how great it is quite often at first glance. Usually graffiti, though, can be a proper menace. But I think it's rather cool when it just says Les Dennis. Hello, Emma Jane. Hello, Stuart. Let's look at some angry donut people. Yay! <laughs> it's just not on, says the Somerset Live. Furious donuts lover blasts <laughs> new Tesco recipe. No, I'm just concerned about donut lover for a second. Oh. Uh, but then I find out that it is a female donut lover. Yeah. Well, that also and brings up some other right. questions. It, it, these are donuts without holes in. Does that help, or does it make it worse? <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> They've dodged their own bullet in the next uh, headline. The baked goods aficionado has been de-donutted. The hell does that mean? After the supermarket introduced the crap new variety. There's a picture of an upset-looking woman holding donuts. 
An angry donut lover has slammed a new Tesco recipe as disgusting and crap and has mounted a campaign to bring the old recipe back. Go on. Oh, it's not wow. like the old days. Yeah, this is slightly different to a thing I remember recently. <sighs> Faye Garrett from Yeovil claims she has been de donutted That's not a thing. D oh my God. Is she trying to make it a thing? Is it like... She's, she's she, trademarked that phrase. Because it's in quotation marks, so it assumes that she said. Yeah. So, yeah, so that is something she has said. Yes, she claims she has been de donutted by the supermarket after it recently changed the way it makes its raspberry donuts. How does she know? They used to create their own donuts and make them all from scratch with fresh dough. Now they use a frozen dough. Mouldy old dough. That's got to be nonsense. It's Tesco. It's always been a frozen dough. It's just a different recipe and she's just whinging. I am in sorry. agreement. Sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> lady, but well, no. She's here Don't apologise. <laughs> <laughs> well, if she's here, I'm oh going to God, she's got a knife. <laughs> yeah, de-donutted is not a word and I will fight her. Sorry. <laughs> I will fight her. <laughs> We've drawn a line and you have crossed this line. <laughs> Faye makes her own jams and chutneys. We'll make your own donuts and stop whinging. <laughs> So she knows what she is talking about and can spot a poor donut when she sees one. Well, let one. me just stop you right there because if you've ever had a Tesco donut, they've kind of always been a bit shit. Yeah. And so... They're not tea donuts. I'm, I'm going to guess her jams and chutneys are shit. I would say it isn't a Tesco donut. Sorry. No, I, 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 no, I back this. Yeah. 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 yeah we, <laughs> fight us, Faye. <laughs> oh, no. I haven't had any donuts for a couple of months now. I don't like the new ones. Well, it's good for you I'm, not to have too many donuts. Yeah. You could buy donuts possibly from another location. She's only got one card. Yeah. Oh, wait, well, look at this. <laughs> Riyadh's anger is my favourite thing so far. <laughs> For 70p, 70p, you 70p? get. 70p? You get five donuts and a heart attack. Well, we're getting mugged off in Norwich because it's a pound. <laughs> yeah, it's just not on. We deserve our old donuts back. That's good. We hadn't quite got into the yeah. weird entitlement yet, so I'm glad we've hit that bit. I want a bit of publicity. I could take on Tesco and get them to bring the old recipe back. No, you can't. I'm sorry, Faye. How about solve world hunger or food banks in your local area? You miserable, yep. pointless old bitch. <laughs> I wasn't Go, going that edit far. That, <laughs> Somerset Live has spelled her name wrong this time. Oh, so they have as well. They've forgotten uh, the E off the end of Faye. She'll, she'll be furious about that. She'll write to them now and she'll yep. be, oh, I want my name back. <laughs> <laughs> I've been defayed. <laughs>。I'm now wondering if that is what Eli looks like shaved. We've seen the eye shaved in one of the previous videos. Oh, yes, we? we have. He looks nothing like that at all. No. But oh, then well. we haven't seen him with his head shaved, so... That's true. Um, and we haven't seen him standing near a broom. That can make oh, all the difference. Oh, shit. Yeah. And when, I'm, I know now the comments are filling with, Well, Eli should be in this fucking video. He would have told you he hasn't got a broom. He hasn't cleaned anything in his life. Sorry, Eli. Here you go. Here's... I'm not Back in the bongo go. shed, Eli. Added Eli. <laughs> and... Just add booze. And the joke is, the reason he's not here is he's too busy sweeping stuff. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, knew it. He's pottering in his bongo shit. <laughs> yeah. Again, code. <laughs> yeah, he's, or he's bongoing in his pottery shit. One of the two. <laughs> well, uh, fuck Florida. I'm never going. Well, we've probably had an out now. Let's just finish. Yeah. Are we there yet? Yeah?